Hello, my friend. Today, I would like to talk to you about uh, human evolution and pandemics. I believe in Darwin, in Darwin's theory of evolution and the survival of the fittest. In 2020, we have been faced with COVID-19 pandemic and have been informed by the immunologists, the medical teams, authorities, and the media, how the virus spread, as well as how to prevent the virus spread further. Ever since the appearance of the Homo sapiens on Earth, Darwin's theory points to the idea of the survival of the fittest, which means that human beings' evolution is due to its ability to adapt much better than other living members of the genus Homo. Human beings were more intelligent, stronger physically and biologically. Today, those human beings who are more cautious and serious on preventing the spread of COVID-19 have a stronger chance of survival than those people who simply ignore the consequences of spreading COVID-19 around. My interpretation of Darwin theory of evolution is therefore very clear. Today, we have access to the history books and we know that pandemics have always been around. Just to name a few, the Black Death of 1350 was responsible for the death of one third of world's population. The Colombian exchange of 1492 happened when the Spanish explorers whose immune system were in a better shape, genetically stronger since their ancestors had previous exposure to the di diseases such as smallpox, measles, cholera, had already the antibodies in their system suddenly arrived in America, coming in contact with the, with the indigenous people who shortly after causing the death of 90% of the indigenous population. The Aztec Empire, who had been living for centuries in America, were suddenly destroyed and became extinct. The Great Plague of London in 1665 destroyed 20% of London's population in a matter of few months. The pandemic of 1855 killed 15 million people in China. The Spanish flu in 1980 claimed 15 million deaths worldwide. Scientists and immunologists' knowledge about the viruses are much greater today than ever in the history of mankind. They are in a better position to inform people on how to prevent the spread of pandemics. The good news, the good news is that they can now develop vaccines to curtail the spread 
Whereas in 1450, the people were made to believe it is either the act of God, evil, sorcery, and they had no idea how to stop the pandemics. Most often, the pandemics eventually wore off by herd immunity. Many lost their lives, but the strongest physically and intellectually survived. We must not forget that traveling was not so common in those days as it is today. So those people who lived in remote villages and were away from the center of the plague did not die, but their immune system at the same time could not be as strong as those who had experienced the herd immunity. 